Hey friends, it is just past 11.30 on Sunday, July the 9th. Someone if I asked if I'd stop doing the morning routine, maybe at some point. Listen, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of spots in the house that are actually quiet and private and won't disturb Rob when he's working and you're looking at one of them. <laughs> so, and this is where my tripod has been set up. So yeah, anyway, good morning. So I didn't vlog the last two days because I had an infusion on Friday with a steroid. And I figured it wasn't, I mean, there's nothing I can do. You guys probably didn't care to see my blood sugar stay elevated all day. <laughs> so yeah. Oy. I woke up this morning, it was 1.30ish. So it's starting to come down. No, 127? 135? Honestly, I don't remember. So I had coffee and here's a look at that Jordan Skinny Chai Syrup. You guys, it's good. It's real good. Is real, real good. So if you're someone who likes chai, I personally highly recommend. <laughs> oh, today. So yesterday, am I going to get emotional? I think I'm going to get emotional. That's weird. Maybe that's the whole reason why I feel this way. So yesterday, I sat down to film, put on a full face of makeup, sat down to film all the videos I need to film for my Misty channel and just couldn't do it. I was like, I, <laughs> I didn't want to. And I was like, what in the ever loving fuck is going on? So I don't know. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break. Cause I would much rather take a break than, <laughs> how do you miss your mouth when you're drinking out of a cup? I'd much rather take a break than like just, Abandon that channel because I I love playing with makeup. Makeup is my therapy. God, I need some more hair. <laughs> but anyway, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna not force myself to film. And I woke up this morning and I was like, maybe I want to film. So <laughs> who knows what's going on? But yeah, so I mean, I'm not sitting here putting on my skincare because I think it's riveting and retainment. I'm just putting. Sitting here putting on my skincare because this is where the tripod is. This is where I am. And again, Rob is almost always in the kitchen, um, in the living room. Oh my God. In the breakfast area, which is the, it's open. And if you guys have been with me forever, you remember I used to film my updates at the, at the kitchen table. And I stopped doing that because that's now Rob's office. So yeah, anyway, I'll try to mix it up a little bit. But I don't, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> You're just going to have to get, like, just fast forward. Watch me in two times speed. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to say. So, yeah. Anyway, there's that. Uh, I finished getting the card class designs done so i have eight card designs done and i am pretty ecstatic with them uh now doing all the labor is going to be a pain in the ass but i'll get it done uh so there are i have four cards that um, people will get a coloring class so i'm going to share with people how to color and then the other four are already done. Meaning you just need adhesive. And I'm considering offering an adhesive bundle. I need to look into the cost and see if it would be worth it. The problem is I don't have, like I'm not a registered business. I don't have a tax exempt. I can't purchase wholesale. And I don't know that I ever want to get to that point. This is kind of my side hustle. <laughs> It's not even really about being a side hustle. It's like I have this itch to get back into teaching. And it's not like I can go back into the classroom. Not that I would want to here in Texas anyway. Um, so, yeah. I I don't know if it's new or if it's something that's been out for a while. But the Attorney General of Texas admitted to disposing of, I think it was like 2.5 million ballots in order for 
uh, get Abbott to win Texas and Trump to win Texas. And then Abbott just repelled a law that required construction workers to have mandatory water breaks. I don't know what's going on with this country. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. And then like Tennessee is passing stupid laws. And one of them is that they want to repel uh, I don't, some kind of marriage divorce thing. So like you, you can't have an, like you have to prove that there's infidelity or abuse to get it divorced. And it's like, why are we on, why are we in the DeLorean going backwards? I'm making any goddamn sense, but this is why I try not to pay attention. But sometimes Instagram's like, here, you need to see this, whether you really want to see it or not. And I'm like, God damn it. So yeah, I'm just trying to not lose my brain over here and just try to stay in my lane, just try to stay blissfully unaware. And that's, Instagram is not helping. And I like to be on, I, like, I I send Rob funny cat videos. <laughs> That's why I'm on Instagram. It's like I can send my husband funny cat videos throughout the day to make him giggle or smile or whatever. So, yeah. He's so good to me, you guys. Just really. So, 151 Coffee is a Texas-based coffee company. And they are one of the ones that serve, like, the Tarani sugar-free syrups. Um which are sweetened with sucralose and a sultamin K or whatever. And whereas the ones from Starbucks are sweetened with maltodextrin. And while I have a little bit of an issue now with Splenda and Acetaphil, whatever, Ace K, I've mentioned before maltodextrin is basically worse than table sugar, especially for diabetics. So... And they have um, happy hour every day from two to eight. You can get half price drinks. So I asked Rob yesterday, he had to run to the post office. I was like, will you get me a coffee? And he's like, no, I don't want to. I was like, okay. Because he hates, <laughs> he hates the way you have to order, which doesn't make any sense to me, but you order with a live person standing outside rather than ordering at a window. And for some reason he hates it. And he also says he likes Starbucks better. But the man doesn't drink coffee. He just gets a frappuccino, like a vanilla cream bean frappuccino. And I'm like, but but you get like German chocolate and stuff at <laughs> you get so many other options. But he doesn't like it. So I was like, well, don't. I was like, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But then he texted me. He's like, do you want the same thing you always get? And I was like, yeah. So he, he stopped. He's like, I knew you make you happy. And I was like, well, I just want. I was like, I already had a coffee, so you don't have to stop and get me one. But it's so good. <laughs> and it's just blended. I need, oh, what is this eyebrow doing? What the hell? <laughs> Did you see that? So, yeah. Uh, Friday was irritating. I have a strong dislike for my rheumatologist PA. Like, a strong dislike for her. I don't feel like she... She number one, she's not. I don't know. <laughs> she, there's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. And you guys remember, or maybe I, she hurt me back in December. She did something to my AI SI joint in my left hip that caused this whole ripple effect that I've been dealing with ever since. And so, you guys know, I talked about I have these hypopigmentation spots on my arm. I don't know if you can see it. In this, yeah, you can kind of see it. So that's new. That's not something I've ever, ex look my gobbler. God damn, I wish, I keep losing weight. Why isn't that going away? Ugh. Anyway, um, so these just kind of came up out of the blue. Like never had them before. It's never been an issue. You know, never had them before. When you research, it says that it could be something vascular. I had a vein that was bothering me. So it's like, okay, what are we doing? She was like, oh, it's probably nothing. And I'm like, but, and she's like, no, it's nothing. I'm like, but you just said it's probably nothing, but you also don't know. And then she's like, well, it's probably some vitiligo. And I'm just like, <laughs> are you literally just throwing out things? And then I talked about, you know, how my hair is falling out and could that be alopecia? And 
I mentioned that I had talked to my gynecologist that maybe, you know, I had, oh no, she said, well, you just need to wear sunscreen. We just need to get you to wear sunscreen. And I said, I wear sunscreen every time I leave my house. She's like, oh, well, and face sunscreen for the acne. I was like, again, I said, I was on mycophenoly. <laughs> So she's like, oh, I said, so yeah, I, I understand the importance of, you know, suns, sunscreen. So it, it, oh, it just pissed me off. I just don't like her. There's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. And she just, I think it's because she's not professional. That might be part of it. Like, it's like talking to a Barbie doll. Like she's, she has that kind of share from clueless thing about her. Ooh, these are some, these are some severe eyebrows today. This is a makeup revolution pencil, eye pencil, by the way. I really like it. I don't know if they even still sell it. But so it was like, uh, okay. Like it just frustrated me. So Rob's like, what are you going to do? I was like, well, I see my doctor next month and I'm just going to be like, oh, hey, can we talk about this, this, and this? Cause like the stinking gynecologist was dismissive apparently I'm not in menopause because I'm still FHAT I don't even know <laughs> so apparently I'm still producing eggs which is yay good job Misty so it's like okay so what is what's causing the sun sensitivity the, like is this a medication is this the methotrexate she didn't want the RAPA didn't want to talk about that either I was just like, oh, so, but I, and I told her, like, I asked her, I told her, she's like, is anything new? And I said, well, I've had that shoulder issue again. I said, and that was a new symptom the last time I saw you guys. I said, but it definitely came back. And she's like, and the one good thing she said, the one good thing she said is like, it's been nine weeks since your last infusion. She's like, let's do our best to get you in right at eight weeks so we can hopefully prevent you from having so much pain so close. And I said, thank you. <laughs> the one positive of her and that whole conversation, right there. 19, okay. Sorry, I was weighing something. So yeah, yesterday was, I don't know. I've just been really emotional. I've been really emotional since seeing my aunt. Like I've just been all over the place emotionally after seeing my aunt, but I really just need to just kind of sit down and process, I think. I don't know, like, I don't know. So I bought a dress for a wedding. Actually, I think I talked about this and I bought it in two sizes and it came today and the smaller size fits. So I am going to be selling the larger side. I'll flash up a picture for it. It's still available at Torrid. It's like $32 now. I paid $25. So I will take $25 plus shipping if you're in the U.S. Um, the lining is stretchy. The top is stretchy. It isn't off the shoulder, but you can wear it on the shoulder. That is the only reason I wore it. Thank you to the person who was in the comment or in the review showing that you can wear it on the shoulder because I hate off the shoulder because I can't wear a strapless bra. So anyway, um, that's, that part of it is stretchy, but the inside of it is not stretchy. I mean, the inside of it is stretchy, but the outside is not stretchy, stretchy, but it's like a peachy color and it's got strawberries and different colored daisies all over it. I bought it for a wedding. I think it's going to be really, really cute. It's going to be hot AF because it's a bit rayon. I think it's rayon. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's not, not the most breathable fabric ever, but I don't know. So yeah, anyway. I did try on another, I had bought a dress at Old Navy. Rob's like, when did you buy this dress? I said, I think 2012 or 2013. And it's, we're almost there. We are almost there. If my boobs weren't quite so big, I could, it would fit. But, and it's like a, it's like a 30-32, but it's like cotton or something that has zero stretch to it. So I was like, well, that's not going to work, is it? So yeah, I'm going to try to put on makeup. <laughs> see see how I do see how far I get and um yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a weird day the weather is weird we still need rain we have we got Rob said he thinks we got a quarter inch earlier but I don't know so we'll see it is kind of humid today so it's going to be, he's going to go grocery shopping. I didn't really 
we don't have a very long grocery list because I can't eat on Thursday and I probably won't be able to eat on Friday either after the colonoscopy is done because the last time I did that, I got so sick to my stomach. So I'll probably skip it. So we'll see though. Anyway, that's it. I will show you when I have something to eat. I need to eat a sandwich today so that turkey doesn't go bad. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> it's about 2.15. I'm going to have a few pieces of salami. Looks like there's six, maybe. Oh, excuse me. I feel like I want a nap. Try not to. Um, I made myself look a little too deep in the foundation department today. So I took off. Uh oh. Sorry. Um, I took off all my makeup and I'm going to start again. <laughs> Other than that, I haven't really been doing much of anything. Roxy demanded love, so I sat on the couch with her for a little bit. That's about it. What's funny is last year when I was having all that food taste issue because of the Wagobi, I couldn't eat salami, mm, but now I like it again. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to eat a few pieces of that. I'm going to put my makeup back on my face and I'm going to try to get some filming done. Or I may just go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> Blood sugar is, I think, 127 right now. So I'm not too bad. It's coming back down. So, yay. Hey, look at this ad loop. <laughs> the lashes are off, but isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, I love blue. I love blue and green on me. Um, even more than I love purple on me. So yeah, it's five o'clock, almost 5.15. My blood sugar is 131. I am finally like hungry. So I'm going to go make a sandwich. Um, as you, you guys have seen a million times now. Um, I did get some filming done. I, I do have a headache. I have a pressure headache. I think um, we had a, like we had some rain this morning and I think that's moving out and causing the pressure changes causing me to have a headache. So that's not fun, but it is what it is. I am gonna go eat and then probably just hang out with Rob in the living room for a while. Um, I, this craft room is a disaster. It's always a disaster, but I'm finally looking at it and like, okay, can't do this anymore. So tomorrow my goal will be to get this all cleaned up and yeah, go from there. But yes, that will probably be, is that gonna be all I eat today? Probably. Yeah, probably. But anywho, I will show you a picture of that once I make it. What was the other thing I had today? Did I have something earlier? If I did, I'll insert it. I took a picture of something and now I don't remember what it was. I'll pop in a picture if I took something. I don't know. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Or tomorrow. I don't know.